Now we're going to put a title um, on the front and the spine of our cover. Um, and to do this, I'm going to use something that's really cool. It's um, something that came along, I think, in CS3, um, and that's the ability to use um, smart objects. And I'll explain what they are in just a moment. First of all, I'm going to press T on my keyboard um, to select the text tool. You'll notice it's been selected over here in the um, toolbox. And I'm going to create a new text object um, sort of uh, in the top third of our um, document here. Now, um, there are lots of ways to change the font and the, the typeface. Um, one of the obvious ways is to go up to the options bar up here. Uh, personally, I prefer the, uh, the character palette because it has some extra um, features uh, that the option bar doesn't. And to get to that, you go to Window and Character. And here we go, here's our character palette. Now I'm going to choose a font um, that's suited to a horror movie poster. And I'm going to pick Trajan Pro because, as you know, it's the movie font. And what I'm going to do is uh, just type the, the title of my movie. Now you'll notice that um, it's still red. Um, so I'm going to select the text, go over here to color. You could alternatively um, click on the foreground color. And I'm going to change this to white, just using the um, selector here. Okay, um, so now I have a title for my film. Um, it's not quite the right size though. Um, so what I'm going to do is um, hold down Command Shift Greater Than, and that allows me to take up the size um, sort of one step at a time. Um, so I'm going to make it about yeah, about that big and now that I'm happy with that I'm gonna hit enter now I'm gonna have the title sort of about here and there's actually gonna be two parts to my title um, I'm gonna have uh, the text and beneath that I'm gonna have um, sort of a glowing um, image so what I'm gonna do is actually duplicate uh, this new text layer that I've created and I can do that by dragging the layer onto the create a new layer icon and letting go. Um, I'm going to call the bottom one uh, glow and hang on, I'll double click on that and type it properly, glow and I'm just going to turn off um, the top copy for the moment. Um, we'll come back to that a bit later but the one we want to look at is this one. Now, in order to achieve this glow, um, I'm going to do a couple of things. Uh, first of all, I'm going to um, go down to uh, the Layer Styles uh, menu that pops up at the bottom of the Layers palette. And with my um, bottom layer of text selected, I'm going to choose Outer Glow. Now, the, by default, uh, we're going to see... Um, probably a yellow color like this. Clearly that's not what I want. I want white. So I'm just going to um, select white from the color picker. And I'm going to set the uh, blending mode to normal. It's actually set to screen at the moment. So I'm not really going to be seeing that as well against the black background. Um, a couple of other things. I'm going to set the opacity up to 100%. Um, and down here, let's crank up the size a little bit. Um, it doesn't matter really uh, what you go for, as long as um, there's quite a, a noticeable blur. Um, I might even crank up the spread a little bit to about um, 2%. And just crank this up a little bit more. I'll take it to about 60, uh, just like that. Okay, um, now that I'm done with the outer glow, um, I'm going to hit OK. Now that's not looking terrific. Um, I do want to make some other modifications to it. And the one thing that I am going to do that is really terrific is I'm going to right click on my layer called Glow and I'm going to convert it to a smart object. Now, there's going to be... If we wait a second, okay. Um, now, a smart object is essentially a document within a document. So if I double click on the icon um, for this layer now, it will open that document in a separate window. Any changes I make when I close and save that uh, will be applied to the object on my cover. 
Okay, now what I'm going to do is I'm going to add a smart filter to this. Now, one of the things I love doing in Photoshop is um, I love to go back and change and tweak things as I go along. And if you just apply a, um, a filter to a text object and you rasterize it, then you're going to be kind of limited in um, how you can change that later on. So what I'm going to do is apply a filter to this smart object by going to the filter menu. I'm going to drop down to blur and then I'm going to select motion blur. Now you can see that's had already quite a profound effect on um, the text layer. Uh, what I might do is I'll set this to about yeah 263 looks pretty good. Um, I do want the angle at 90 degrees just going straight up and down and I'm going to press OK. And there we have a kind of cool um, sort of blurred um, blur that we're going to have behind our text. I'm going to turn the top layer of text on now um, and that's looking reasonably good. The bottom layer however is probably a little bit strong so I'm just going to adjust uh, the opacity to about... Hmm, it's difficult to say. I, I could take it down as far as 50% uh, but I might leave it at around 80. I think that looks um, reasonably good. Now what I'm going to do is hold down the shift key and pick up my glow layer and um, the text layer and drop them into a group and I'll call this title. Um, so then I can move that around um, together just by dragging the file. Um, that's looking reasonably good. What I might have to do is just uh, lower the position of the face and as well as that, the position of the trees just a little bit um, to make up for um, the text there. And the other thing I might do with this title, um, selecting the, the layer in the layers palette, is just add a drop shadow to that and see how that looks. Uh, it's kind of subtle, but it looks um, a little bit cool. Let's yeah, subtle, but I'll add that anyway. There we go. And we've got our title um, uh, all finished off. The other thing that um, I'm going to do, because I like this glow so much, this is probably something that we could use on the spine of our DVD. So to make a copy of this group where I have the two title layers, I'm going to drag it onto the um, create a new layer icon. And I now have a, another object called title copy. Um, I'm going to call that title spine. Uh, what I'm going to do now is uh, hit command T and I'm going to just resize this holding down the shift key to maintain its proportions and I'm going to grab the corner of this and rotate it so that um, it and hit enter when I'm done and there we are we have a nice um, title on the spine of our DVD cover um, the one thing I will do to this um, new title is I'm going to open up the layer group go down to uh, glow copy and change this motion blur by double clicking on it because rather than it going 90 degrees I'm going to crank it around to zero degrees so it goes in the opposite direction and maybe just bring down the distance a little so it stays on that spine area. Okay, that's looking um, reasonably good. I've got the title on the front of my DVD and I've got the title on the spine.